Hi there. Uh, I didn't forget about the workshop. It just was a bit uh, busy these uh, last few weeks. But now I'm back and hopefully we're going to finish this in one go. Um, there is plenty videos left to to go over, uh, plenty of the of lessons. But um, yeah, let's continue with the uh, corrective blend shapes. And the good thing after the wait is that we have the new blend sh uh, shapes um, tool, the uh, new 5.0 beta. It's available for all the register users. So if you you have uh, your plugin already, you can you can get access to this uh, to this beta. I think the the free download is not yet uh, available, um, so you need to wait a little bit. Um, it has a lot of new stuff, especially for the symmetry with uh, different shelves and other good stuff there probably it's better if you check the the videos on the website and uh, you can see the, the most noticeable thing here up of it's the the ui that has new icons so you need you can access and configure your your ui from here instead of going on the uh, preferences okay so let's continue with the fingers uh, if i remember correctly um, we finish their the wrist positions last the video and now I have to, to continue with the fingers. Um, I'm sorry if there is a jump between the, the videos because it has been a few weeks. But yeah, I hope it's, uh, it's not too, um, too different and you don't feel that it's a, a jump in time. Okay, so let's continue with the finger. I'm just going to go edit mode and adjust my regular tool. So here for the fingers, I have choose to don't add any um, support joints for help to the deformation. Maybe we come later and we will add it this. So don't be surprised that we need to redo this thing. But for the moment, since I want to, to continue with the corrective lane shapes, I'm just going to go through and, and finish this thing. So I'm going to do only one finger and probably I'm going to jump to another video where everything is finished so we don't have to wait super long to see all the blend shapes model here so normally what i do here for the fingers that it's it's quite thick and and uh, that there is a lot of uh, penetration between the two parts it's to carve down the first the um to make some space here so it's easier to to see where I'm, what I'm doing here. And now uh, probably I use all the tools available uh, well, exception of the new sculpt tools that I don't feel like it's working. I, I don't know if I commented this before, but I don't feel it's working nice with uh, this kind of resolutions. I think you need a more resolution to, to get a proper functionality or proper uh, like feedback when you model. But um, so I still using the old um, artisan brush, I think it's called. Not sure. Anyway, so um, yeah, just going down a little bit intensity, a little more, so we can just. I'm using just the push and the um, smooth, so we can get nicer shape here. And uh, yeah. Uh, the, the, the downside of this tool is that it grabs everything and every I'm not sure if there is doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah there is no option here as far as I know if someone knows uh, you can comment on the on the YouTube um, channel um, yeah it's kind of the it's not like get it's surface um, fall off it's kind of grabbing all around that it's on the on the brush even it's not like um, I'm pushing here the the brush orientation it's on this polygon but it affects this one even so that's something I don't like that much right again so I guess just quickly Probably you want to expand more time that I'm doing here because my plane shapes are not as good as should be. It's just a quick example. And yeah, if you do the, the you add some gimmick joints there, so you can probably get 
the result. So you can see here, this is super big and so I don't like that part. So I'm just gonna pull down this. And again, I'm just gonna carve down so I can see what I'm doing and go back here. Well, I have this selection. I just want to, doesn't need to be 100% accurate. And again, just smooth down and pull everything out. So it pinch on the center. And <clears throat> yeah, I was thinking to do this video like um, pre-record and put the voiceover. Uh, again, it's been a few weeks and I don't remember what I say in the last video, I didn't check it. But yeah, finally I decided to go straight with the recording and talking at the same time. Because you can see, I think it's more realistic and in the way that you can see me struggling here to get the, the blend shapes instead of a speed up thing. Also, yeah. So here, if you check the options, you have relax. So I use the other one for smooth and this one's for relax. Relax, it doesn't change the volume that much, like what uh, smooth does. But if you go here on the, like this pinchy area and you try to, to relax, it's gonna go crazy. So there is um, some advantages and disadvantages and you should choose which one you want to use in each moment. And I have a shortcut here, so I have this selected, so I, I still can paint or do stuff, but I don't see the wireframe. Um, um, yeah, I can share probably in some point this this hotkey because it's very useful, but you can get it um, here in the configuration, I think. I don't remember. I did it long time ago. But yeah, if you can reproduce this one, it's uh, very useful because um, yeah, sometimes you don't want, you want to see just if the volume and the, um, maybe the, the, the wireframe is misleading. Even it's very important to keep track of the wireframe when you model corrective lens shapes. It's not like ZBrush that you don't care that much, you dynamish or do other stuff and then rebuild the topology again. Here you need to, to track properly topology. So don't lose too much volume there. Okay, I think it, that's good to go. So this was the original deformation and this is what we have. So I try to keep the, the articulation, the bone underlying more mark here and more like the, the pads under the fingers, a bit more smooth. I mean, again, it's not like a super good plane shape. It's just good enough to the example. Okay, I'm just gonna save a version here just in case. It's good to remember saving versions all the time and rename. So I'm just gonna call this finger and um, finger, what I'm gonna say. So this is um, the zero one that it's uh, like kind of M gear naming. So, or indeed the zero. And this I'm um, just gonna put like uh, two for the um, and left. So this is gonna be zero, one, two. I'm just just gonna use the mischief transparency thing. It's gonna be easier. So <coughs> I have my colors played here. So, whoops. All right. So this area here is gonna be um, zero. This is gonna be number one, and this is gonna be number two. That is these two here. And then for the fingers, starting from the index, this is the, the zero, one, two, three. Whoop, three. And the thumb is its thumb. So, so this is uh, the same name. So it's distinguished with the other two, eight, four. Oh my, I don't know how to count fingers. Okay, so we have this one. I think it's good enough. So let's go for the next one, that is this one. Of course, I need to um, turn down this one. Edit mode again. <coughs> Sorry. Yes, uh, early morning, it's hard to talk. 
Okay, I'm just going to adjust first with this um, brush from Shapes. And then same thing, I just carp down quickly to to see what I'm doing there. I mean, this is the way I'm doing the, the blank shapes and probably it's not the best one, but it's the one that works for me. And yeah, some people like to go to, to other applications like ZBrush, Matbox, or other one, I don't know. I just rather, even I, in one moment in the time I was more, oh, 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 take care with the other finger. I was more confident modeling with, um, Softimage, but for um, blend shape like this kind of things, this kind of task, I always, I mean, before I, I moved fully to Maya, I, I was uh, also um, using Maya for for this kind of task because I always found it was easier because they were the brush, the smooth, and so on. So, yeah, I think it's. Uh, it's good to do it. Okay, now I'm going for the other one. Just maybe it's doing too much. Relax here. I just playing around. So it's important to go all the um, like sides and do a little bit, a little bit. So I, I keep turning, turning, turning. I, I don't do one one area and then try to focus in the other. I try to, to keep everything at the same level of modeling. So it doesn't go um, to finish in one area and not start it in the other. Okay, just good enough for this one. So we have this. Looks much better with this. So I'm just gonna copy paste the name, and this is gonna be section one. And uh, for the last one, is this one is with the knuckle. So we do the same. We need to mark the knuckle properly so we don't lose the volume here because there is a nice bond there that we should keep and sometimes I try to, to orbit now and it's completely off and even if you move it's going off again so what I do is just select a few polygons frame selection there Oops. and then go back to modeling so it's the camera is recenter and orbits on the right position I uh, think maybe everybody knows that but just in case you don't go lose too much time trying just to play so to see where where you need to model. Again, again, just select a few there. Whoops. And go there, maybe. Just trying to to push the right buttons, but I keep missing some and selecting the wrong hotkey. Anyway. So here, if you want to do a little more like the the the, the path here under uh, under the palm and here, you need to redistribute this so it has a little effect there. And probably, if you want to do it like super nicely, you need to do later that like the the uh, the combo blend shapes when two adjacent fingers are. Um, Articulated at the same time, so you can make a nice uh, deformation. I'm I'm just tackling one at the time. So here, if I if I move down the the second finger and and here in the bit in, in the middle, probably it's the best idea. It's if you can um, just um, adjust that part like with a combo blend shape. So it's gonna look nicer. And here the pad also because the pressure. Um, just make a little fat there to give the feeling that there is some volume preservation. 
Okay, so that's it for these fingers. I'm just gonna go out of these sculpts and just put this zero zero. So that's the finger, and if I remember correctly, I have this uh, fourth position that it's all three articulated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trigger like that, and you see all my fingers are now with the plane shapes, but still not super nice here. So I'm gonna do one that goes on top of the other um, three. So I'm just gonna remodel this final position. So I don't do two separated to separated because normally you articulate the finger like or three at the time. I mean three three bones at the time. So um, yeah, don't go crazy with that and try to do all the possible positions and because yeah, and really, I mean, if you try to articulate only one, uh, or, I mean, two bones at, of your finger at the time, it's quite difficult, actually. Uh, at least for me. I don't know if some people can have amazing abilities with the fingers, but not me. So, yeah. Let's give... So, normally, it depends on the character design and the, the thickness and, and length of each finger. And sometimes you, you you have a big gap here that it looks fairly uh, unnatural. Normally, when we we press the fingers, we have um, all like the, the 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 space here. It's it's completely filled with with the skin. Um, but yeah, sometimes in in CG with the designs, there's more stylized. Oops, this is my relax trying to do his stuff. But yeah, like if you use too much stylize the character, sometimes it's hard to to make this this thing pop inside. So like this, and maybe I a little more here. And just try to to keep all the flow. Well, it looks better, so I'm just gonna keep, and this is gonna call like a finger zero because it's for the zero, and the uh, combo. So it's very clear. This is a combo. So this one is gonna be so you can see the difference there. So this one is gonna be triggered when these three are also triggered. So we will do the configuration later. But yeah, for the moment, this is. Um, I do the, the fingers and let's continue in the next video. Bye bye.